is no problem. And anybody who fight with me, tell them we only a love for them. That's why I will never. All right, everybody, so welcome back. I think you all are playing that song for my next guest. Eh? Pull up my next guest, please, so we, that we can see. You see this gentleman? You all, you all know this gentleman, everybody? Well, this is Sterling Henderson, yeah, the deputy head of news at I-95.5 FM. Sterling, good morning. Good morning to you, Marlon, and good morning to all of your viewers as well. Yes, you sound very professional this morning, Sterling. I was, I, I was saying to surprised? my... I was. <laughs> I was saying to myself, well, still, he's supposed to be at work, but he's doing an interview. But all the same, good to see you and speak with you. But Sterling, we have some, you. you have some very important information that you'd like to share with our viewers this morning. And it's yes. the SVH Audio Publishing Media Training Program. So let's get yes. right into it, Sterling. Please tell us about it. Well, the next cohort starts on Saturday. I started on September 7th. And the first round went really well. I think that I delivered on the project I aim to deliver on, which is uh, related to you in some ways, in that, you know, I remember years ago when I was teaching in another place, you would always say to me that you find these courses being offered are not practical. So I designed a very practical course that focuses on news writing and journalism. So not so much on air, but on air is covered, but I mean, in three out of the five classes, we focus on press releases and processing information into news. So you're preparing for a job in the newsroom, not necessarily on air, right? And this is a generic sort of training, which covers print as well as broadcast. So it's all of my years of experience coming to bear and as well my education, you know. I had initially planned to do this in retirement. But life dictated otherwise, and um, here I am uh, offering an online course, and that's what's interesting in that you don't have to leave your house or go anywhere. You just get the link, and you're in the class. Yeah. All right. So, Sterling, how do people sign on? Well, they can contact me on social media. I'm available on all social media platforms, including TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, X. Um, 689-8107 is my number if you want to contact me directly for registration or information, and I will send you the link for the registration form, and you fill out the information there, and then we proceed from there. It's a very easy online um, business. A lot of what we do is using social media, WhatsApp, as well as Google Meets and Google Classroom. So everything is done online, except for the last day, I provide a tour of the I-95.5 FM radio station, and the students really enjoyed that the last time as well. So looking forward to repeating it again. I have um, some students lined up already for the next cohort, just um, giving people a last chance to get in if they'd like to. Yeah, but Sterling, let's talk a little bit about your experience in media, right? Because mm -hmm. um, earlier um, you told us that you have been in the media from 19 or long, eh? So let's... Yeah. Um, Let's look at those years in media, Sterling, just to give our viewers um, a feeling as to your experience in, in media and some of the things that you have done in media. Well, I mean, it's an interesting story, eh, Marlon, in that straight out of A-levels, I got a job in mall radio. So I worked at Long Circular Mall and West Mall doing on-air stuff. That was at about 18 years old, you know what I mean? So I got in pretty early in that regard, but then I migrated for 10 years and came back with an interest in being on the radio, not necessarily thinking about being in the newsroom. So I took a six month or six week course and I got a job at I-95.5 FM and I started there, but I didn't stop there. I went on and I did a certificate in media and communication at Open Campus. And then I went on to do a certificate or a bachelor's degree in media and communication at Carimac in Jamaica. I've been at I-95.5 FM since 2001. I'm currently Deputy Head of News, but along the way I've touched other media houses in that for six years I worked as a BBC stringer, which would mean providing BBC Caribbean service in London with stories on a daily or weekly basis to 
uh, add to the content as well. I've worked out of RJR in Jamaica when I was there for three years. And I've worked at Nationwide News in uh, News Talk, News Talk Jamaica, News Talk Jamaica. I've worked there as well. I um, have as well a lot of experience writing and voicing and emceeing and hosting and other areas tangential to media. So I share a little bit about everything and I bring guests because as well, because of course I don't know everything, right? Well, yeah, so I last time had Wendell Constantine, we had Lisa Allen Agostini, and we had Hollywood Sachi. And again, the students really enjoyed that. And I have some great guest lectures lined up for the next cohort as well. Yeah. I notice you haven't asked me to, to come yet, but um, we'll leave that for <laughs> another time. Um, but, but Sterling, I, I think that the course uh, sounds uh, really, really good. And as I would have said to you um, in past times that um, I think that these courses need to be um, very, very practical. So I'm glad that mm. you have embarked on such a program. Again, Sterling, please give us the registry. Well, we do have some of the um, information here. But Sterling, um, something that I have um, commended you for in the past years is your skill when it comes to commentary. Are you yeah. also going to throw that in as a lanyard for, for the persons attending the classes? Yes, yes. But the good thing is that there are other people in the industry who are very good at commentary as well. And I have some audio that I pulled from Sharon Pitt. And that's kind of my go-to. I advise on terms of the journalism aspect of live reporting. Say so you end up at a, at a house on fire and you have to give a report. You know, I have experience doing things like that. Or you end up at a protest site and you have to give a report. How to treat with that, how to handle your microphone, how to relate to the live audience while communicating with the on-air audience. All those things are covered. And anything that I can't cover myself, I will bring in an expert you know, um, to to augment the the offering. But I aim to deliver a very solid product, and so far, so good. So it's not a, you have not adopted a cookie-cutter approach to things. If it is somebody wants training in a particular aspect, you, you are, um, you're not averse to that and no. can facilitate that. And how I approached it the last time is by consensus, so that when we met the first time, I said to the group, you know, what are your what are your in areas of specific interest? And by people had interest in public speaking and presentation. So I brought in Wendell Constantine, who gave us a class because you know you, you don't get much better than Wendell. So he was able to drill down for those students. You know, if a student is interested in sport. Or if the majority of students are interested in sport, we can bring in someone. Because all it takes is me sending you a link. The online aspect of this is really a disruptive sort of innovation in that many of the classes that are offered are brick and mortar in that you go to a place and you get to the place. And that's it for everybody. But with this, all we have to do is send you the link and wherever you are, in your vehicle or wherever you are, I've had students in the class traveling, you know, it's really convenient in that way. Um, and so it is not cookie cutter. It is really uh, a design as I go kind of project. Yeah. You see, as I told you all, Sterling is very, very good in commentary. So he's proving that this morning. But Sterling, the class is for everyone, right? Yes, the class is for everyone. You know, funny enough, when I taught at another place, I would sometimes be teaching 13-year-olds, 15-year-olds, and th their propensity to adopt things is not bad at all, you know? So there's no age limit. I think even like communication workers, people who are involved in communication and want to get an insight into how the media newsroom works, improve your writing skills, because it is very intensive in terms of writing and presentation. So. For about two or three classes, you have to write a news release into a story, present it, 
and then I critique you in front of the class so everybody gets to learn from everybody. So you get a little access to presenting as well in that respect because you know you have as you say you have to assume the position. So I want them to sound as if they're going to be on air and present the story, and then I react and respond accordingly. Yeah, sounds good, Sterling. Well, Sterling, we do Thank have you. up your, your contact information, and we, and we wish you all sure. the best uh, with your program. Bye for now, Sterling. Thank you very much, friends. Thank you, TV6. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So that's going to do it for our program for today, everybody. See you right back here tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Have a good day. Bye for now.